it's fair to say there's been some discontent at Arsenal Football Club. Listen, the man has started the project in 1996. He was a great manager. He's gone. He's gone. I love Wenger, but he is out of ideas. It's a mess right now. It's a mess right now. It's a mess. We put up with this for 12 years. This is not one result, two result, three result. I don't think it's the wrong thing to offer him a new contract. You cannot give this man a contract, love. He's going to ruin the club, fam. Well, love a lot of things. I don't want second. I don't want third. I don't want fourth. I want the Premiership. What in a lot of players. You yeah, know, decisions keeps making the wrong decisions. Change the face of English football. You hear? It's turning. It's turning, blood. Did you hear the booze at full time? It's getting, t- hey, it's getting peak now, you know, blood. And after 21 years, Arsene Wenger has finally decided to step down as Arsenal manager. It's over to tie with the weather. We mustn't forget that it's been raining, so. The pitch is quite... It's been raining? Yeah. Are you being serious? It's raining for both teams. And now a new man is set to take the reins at Arsenal. I mean, it's what Arsene Wenger would have wanted, isn't it? A coat like that, so... Let's let's get that on him. Hello then, viewers, and welcome back to the first instalment of Football Manager 2018 on this channel. We are doing a save with Arsenal, and uh, the title, the, well, really, the job here, the title, Wenger out. He's gone. He's now a director. He's loving life, but I've taken charge, and it should be exciting. For those that are familiar with the channel, the background's different. I've moved. I'm really sorry. I know it's going to be a shock to a lot of you, but, you know, you've got to start this way. So as Arsenal manager, you might be thinking, what's the plan then, Benny Boy? Obviously, they didn't get into the Champions League last year. Now Wenger's gone. There's been some discontent amongst fans, as as you've seen. Not all fans. Some some fans are very disappointed. Time, mate, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, honestly. It'll be f- No, I'll, I'll do my best. Yes, I'll get you an Arsenal umbrella. So don't worry. Look, things are we're in capable hands. In terms of the squad at Arsenal, they, they've got a decent team. You know, we shouldn't grumble. We shouldn't sit here and complain. It's not that bad. Is it? Is it bad? It's a little bit bad. I mean, it's not good enough to finish in the top four. Bad, is it? So let's let's see what we can do. And obviously, the big talking point over the summer, especially for Arsenal, was Alexis Sanchez and Mesut Ozil. Will they stay? Will they go? They both stayed. They're both going to give me one more year. But I'm not sure how much longer that will last. I'm, I'm concerned that they both want out. And I'll be honest, guys, if they want out, I'm prepared to let them go. I think ego has been a problem at Arsenal for far too long. It's time Arsenal got back to what they've been good at, and that was being good at football, not being good at posting pictures on the internet. So I think it's about time that we get a man in this in this job, in this role, as a leader, a leader of men and a leader of, well, some of the other ones. So I think, and I'm happy for your feedback on this, viewers, in the comment section, uh, but I think we sell Sanchez and Ozil. I think we get rid. We shift them on. You know, we invest that money. How much do we have to spend as Arsenal manager kicking things off? £80 million. Pounds. That's 360 Right, they're off. I mean, revamp. We're changing everything. There's going to be a mass upheaval here, and I, for one, am looking forward to it. I'm looking through the team. You know, they've got they've got some good... Petr Cech, he's, he's a decent player, a good goalkeeper. But he's getting on a bit. 35 years of age. Murtasaka, he's deciding to retire. And then he's just... Well, he's listed already. I wasn't... I don't even... I mean, yeah, I probably would have done. But, I mean, it's, that was soon. And then you've got players like Jack Wilshere. And it's whether you give players like Jack Wilshere a chance to shine in this Arsenal setup, Or do we move him on? I, 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 and Jack, I'm not sure, mate. He's out at the moment for six, or six, three to six weeks with a broken leg. I am tempted to build it around him. The problem is, he'll, he'll very rarely be here. So the question really remains that with Alexander Lacazette, who I think is a, a dead cert to be here, with players like Kalasanak as well, you've got Aaron Ramsey, who I think will play a decent role within this team. You've got Mustafi as well at the back. You've got to keep him. Koscielny. There's, a, there's an okay core. I just think... The rest of it is a bit rubbish. So as Arsenal manager, much like the man before me, we're going to spend, spend, spend. And you might be sitting there thinking, well, I don't know. If you're an Arsenal fan, maybe you're going, I'm uncomfortable with this. I don't know what to make of this. It'll be okay. Together, we'll bring in some good players. And maybe, just maybe, by the end of this series, get back to the top of the table. You know, it's been a lot... It's been a long time coming. Arsenal fans deserve a little bit of success, so I will try and deliver you said success. Uh, If you're not an Arsenal fan, if it goes badly, you'll enjoy that. So here we go. 
So club-wise, I think we're all set. We've got some decent youngsters as well. Reese Nelson's a man that's on a lot of Arsenal fans' lips at the moment. Really good prospect. And in fact, throughout the under-23s, there's some really good players in there. If we, if we talk about potential, there's players there that you might see something from. And that is exciting as well. There's not a great deal of depth, I'll be honest. The under-18s has got one or two stars in there as well. And by stars, I mean this, this guy is a bit good. I say a bit good. He's... He's got nine reflexes as a goalkeeper. All right, well, maybe we need to bring in some youth. I, I've, I've changed my mind. In terms of the squad dynamics, and of course, if you're if you're new to Football Manager, maybe, or you're new to this channel, I will go through things as we find them. This isn't going to be a complete run-through of everything in Football Manager 2018. But what I will say is that the new dynamics page should be really interesting. I'm excited to see what we can get from it. There's a core social group at the moment with lots of players within it. Bellerin's there, Awobi, Chambers, and Holding. They're all mates because uh, they've spent a similar time at the club. You can see from the hierarchy, Benny Boy sits at the top, you know, Lots of NGFM, loving life at the top there. Matt Zachary and Kashani and Santi Cazorla. The concern, of course, within the hierarchy is that two of those players might not be here too much longer. Matt Zachary's retiring. Santi Cazorla, he's had a few injury problems. He's getting a little bit older. And then below that, Walcott, Czech, Ramsey, Giroud, Ozil Sanchez, Wilshire, Monreal and Welbeck. <sighs> Some of those are going to be sold. And that is going to cause rifts. And I'm... Part of me's excited, because who knows what might occur. Of course, we can keep up to date with that on the happiness tab. We'll see you feeling a little bit upset, feeling a little bit sad. Well, that's going to be fun. The medical centre, of course, will be seeing how Jack Wilshire's doing throughout our season, because... Oh, Jack. And I'll be honest, viewers, I've never done a save with Arsenal Football Club in my life before. So I think it's set to be quite an exciting one. If we look at the team report, you can see that the, the squad have, is made up of a number of impressive decision makers. <sighs> is it? I think the football manager has been very kind. Apparently, the only three weaknesses at Arsenal are a lack of quality behind Petr Cech in goal, a lack of quality right back behind Bellerin, and left wing back behind Klasenak. That's it, apparently. That's, that, they're the only problems. I don't know what everyone's been going on about. As you can see, I'll, I'll deal with those shortly. With the squad depth, overall, I think we're pretty good. We're good in these wide areas with players like Sanchez. But again, I think Sanchez and Ozil need to be shifted out. I'm not, I'm not happy about what they've been producing at the club recently. They're, they're okay. They're fine. You know, they're, they're probably the best two players here. But... Time for change, I think. I personally think. So we'll have to see what we'll do. Comment section. This is where you come in. This is really an introductory episode to the series. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. It'll be games every couple of fixtures. Uh, we'll probably kick things off with some transfer stuff next time out. So look forward to that. That'll be tomorrow. Every single day at 5pm. And there will be an Arsenal video in your subscription box. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. I'm excited to start a new save football manager. I think the way the team set out, the tactics... We'll, we'll focus on a lot of this next time when we know who's here and who isn't. I think next episode we'll focus on transfers, who's coming in, who's going out, and we'll build from there. So if you enjoyed today's video, do drop a like on it. Hopefully you enjoyed the intro as well. And we love with care from the Spinjian. So next time, goodbye. Football Manager 2018 is here, and I'm bloody excited. If you want a chance to win a copy of Football Manager 2018, there's a link in the description, top line, retweet, and follow for a chance to win.